6.55 p.m. here on Thursday, day 480. Welcome aboard. I've been hard at work today for about an hour. Worked on the yard here. Check that out. Got it mowed again. Didn't take off much grass, but uh, looks more manicured now, and that's nice. Also, spent a lot of time out here at the curb with a blower. There's a bunch of gravel from winter, you know, the snow plows and crap. It just breaks the road up. As you can see, it's just disintegrating over here. And uh, just all kinds of gravel over here. And that sucks. Cars go by, it gets thrown up in the lawn. Mower hits, it comes out, goes through your leg. It sucks. So I took the blower, blew it all down into the uh, storm drain or whatever. Down there into the property by those big rocks and the trees. So now that's done. I usually do that once a year. So for April, I, I'm doing stuff that I usually do in May right now. And it's April 5th. It's like 55 degrees out here. It's not a cloud in the sky. Just absolutely stunning. And here's the best way to enjoy a day like that. Ah, good to see somebody has made a very good decision up here. Uh, the BMW M3! Alright guys, uh, we're looking at 12.20 in the morning here on April 6th. I'm going to wrap this up in a few minutes, but Kenan's been checking out some cars. Check this out, it's an 02540. Um, really nice condition, only problem is it's got the wood and the black, which I'm not real big on, uh, but that's changeable. And it needs that display, like I did on mine. And it also needs that display. So that would be a bit of a pain in the ass, but uh, definitely doable. It's only 103,000 miles. Um, I haven't read this yet to see if it has a clutch. Uh, usually they last around 100 to 120,000 miles, and it's like four grand to put a clutch in it. So that would definitely be something to check out. He also found this. This is an 02530 with 101,000 miles. And this is actually the same color my dad's 03530 was. Um, except he had the M package on it, <clears throat> but this is really nice. It's a six-speed, five-speed, I don't know, it's, it's a manual. Uh, the inline six, of course. Great car for only $89.63. Uh, it's in Maryland, just outside Washington. You should go check it out, Cole. All right, now we've got a bit of a short vlog here. Um, the last two days, the uploads have gotten decked. As you can see, this one is still uploading. Actually, it's processing right now. Um, and here's the reason for that. The past two days, I've been pretty busy during the day. It's been so nice outside. I've been trying to be outside. And I've been wanting to bring this up. i got to find the iPad. I bought this book. All right, so on YouTube, maybe some of you watch Fast Lane Daily. If not, it's a really nice car news show. Um, and then they've also started this channel called Drive with a bunch of guys, uh, Matt Farah and Alex Roy. Uh, right? Alexander Roy. Um, and it's it's really cool. You should go check it out. YouTube.com slash drive or Fastlane Daily. And anyways, this guy Alex Roy, he had an E39. He's had a couple E39 M5s, I think. And he actually wrote a book. He took one of his M5s on the gumball run in 2003. He drove around Manhattan at like 140 miles an hour in 27 minutes. Um, obviously not that speed the whole time. He took the M5, made the world record from New York to L.A. and under... It was like 26 hours or something crazy. Anyways, he wrote this book. I don't know when. It's called The Driver by Alexander Rory. I bought it here on iBooks. It was like 10 bucks. I'm on page 200 of 569, chapter 15. I hate reading. I can't sit down and read a book. However, this book is the best text I have ever read, period. It's phenomenal. I highly recommend you go get it. If you like cars, you like street racing maybe, um, it's just really, really, really interesting. He... He was actually in New York on 9-11, out running around in the debris. Um, really, really cool book. And I was, I'll be honest, I thought the guy was an asshole. He's a pretentious prick. He wears this scarf and a hat. What a dick. Kind of like me sometimes, you know. Um, but, wow. Really cool book. Really cool guy. Um, I highly recommend it. So please go check it out. The Driver by Alex Roy. All right, so that's going to be it. Uh, 480 under the belt. Tomorrow's Friday. Day off. I'm going to sleep in. We're going to lunch with my grandmother. I haven't seen her since the trip for more than like 20 minutes. I went over and fixed something for her at the house. I haven't had a chance to show her any pictures on the iPad yet. So we'll do that tomorrow. Should be a pretty chill day. Saturday, I'm going to have the ding in the, in the wheel on the M5 hopefully fixed. Put the Pirellis on the X5 and clean up the wheels. It's going to be a car day. And Sunday's going to rain, so I'll do inside stuff, catch up on the videos that I'll probably fall asleep for tonight. Oh, that's what I was going to tell you. I've been watching YouTube videos at night. Um, and I actually fell asleep the last two days with my Mac there, just watching the last video before I could hit the upload button on the vlog overnight. 
So I wake up at 5 a.m., the Mac's sitting there on sleep, I'm like, shit, I didn't upload the vlog. And then I fall asleep before I get the brain power to go and start uploading the vlog. So that's why they've been really late, and I apologize for that. So that's it, 480, talk to you tomorrow on Friday. Good night.